Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased technical analysis. Now today for this video we are doing strictly the FANG stocks, okay? That's Meta, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. Let's get into it, okay? Weekly chart of Meta right here. Okay, I got a 78.6 retracement level at 96, okay? Based on these yellow levels, all right? If I zoom out, I have the FIB set. Uh, all the way back from when it first started, all right, the inception, uh, which was around 1755, all the way up to the new all-time high up at 384.33. And I, like I said, 78.6 FIB level is at 96, okay? So as far as swings go, as far as swings go, if uh, Facebook can recapture the 78.6 FIB level at 96, I will swing calls, okay? Above that, I have targets at 100.5, 106.5, 113.3, and 122.5. These are all based on the weekly chart levels, okay? Now, the way I would do it, I'll take uh, some profits, secure some profits uh, at each level with my stop loss being under 96, okay? That's the um, that's if 96 is recaptured, okay? Uh, SPY did close around 90.79, so that puts... Uh, uh, next support at 89.6 then 85.6 with 80.8 and 77 below okay those are the next support level as long as below 96 I'm bear bias okay so remember next supports at 89.7 breaks down that puts the other support levels in play below 89.6 88 85.6 80.8 77 and 72 below that okay just a reminder you can add these levels to your charts, but as far as swing calls go, I'll only swing calls above 96. As long as below 96, I am bear biased and favor more downside. Keep in mind, my sentiment is based on the price action, so that means it's always subject to change. Best to follow it, okay? Those are the levels. No swing calls unless 96 is cleared. Uh, below 88, the downside continues, okay? Apple uh, broke down a very critical level. Um, for a couple of reasons okay so i got fib levels here at the i got the 78.6 fib level at 192 that's the fib level from um june uh june low up to august high we cleared uh well we closed below 139 okay so i can't get bullish and will not swing calls unless 139 is recaptured with the next price target at 141.7 uh got a gap fill around 145 and 147 above that okay so no swing calls unless uh 139 is recaptured i do have as long as below 139 i'm bear buys with the next critical support at 137 based on this downtrend line 137 fails that's very bearish based on this trend line that's a false breakout setup and we could see more downside down to 133 to 134 zone with 132.6 and 129 below that Okay, below 129 is very, very bearish. That was the June low. So if we lose the June low, you could definitely see more newer lows uh, with 126 in route. Okay, so can't get bullish unless it's above 139. As long as below 139, 137 is the next support. Okay, Amazon. Amazon closed around 90.98. Okay, uh, critical level that I had was 101.5. In my last video, I talked about that level, and I would be bearish if we lose that level, which it played out very nicely. Okay, so right now I have a critical. The next critical resistant uh, is at 91.5, and we can clear 91.5, uh, uh, 94, 96.5, 97.7, uh, and then 101.5 is back in play. Okay, as long as we're below. Uh, what level do I got here? One, uh, as long as we're below 91.5, the next support is a pivot low at 89. We're 87.7 below that. And if that fails, we could see more downside. 83.4-ish with 81.5 below. All right. Does that make sense, guys? So no calls unless we recapture a resistance level. All right. Starting with 91.5. Netflix, uh, you can see here, based on the yellow FIB levels, we lost the 23.6 retracement level. Um, this is a daily chart. Yeah, we lost it earlier this week, uh, right there. And I said if we lose that level, that could trigger more downside. Always buy puts when a support level fails. You can see that 
This is a daily chart, so it was good for some swings. Uh, that level failed. It started breaking down more. Okay, so I have a critical level at 268. All right. Uh, this is all based on FIB levels. 268 is a 61.8 retracement level. So yeah, it started back in 2004 when the low of 35 cent. We had a low of 35 cent. Okay, so that's around when it first started. All right. Yeah, low of 35 cent back in 2003, 2004. Okay, so the 78.6 is at 150. Uh, Okay, I'm going to go back to the daily chart. Okay, so and the 61.8 retracement is, is at 268. We close below that. So, yeah, if if Netflix can recapture 268, I would swing calls, play the false breakdown setup, uh, which put 280, 289.7, and uh, 304 back in play. Okay, but as long as we're below 268, I'm bare bias with the next critical support at 249.5. Okay. That would be a gap fill right there. And if that fails, we can see some more lows coming. Uh, what else do I have here? So below that, I got another pivot low around 237.5, uh, 229.7, uh, 220, uh, 211.7. Okay, so keep in mind, guys, I'm doing it on the daily and weekly chart. So the support and resistance level a little bit more spread out. So this it's more for, uh, I guess you could say, swing traders. Okay. And last but not, but not least, Google, okay, uh, I had some support levels here at uh, 85.97, round it to 86, and a support level around 84.9-ish, we can round that to 85, and a support level around 83.45. Google uh, closed below all those levels, but it recaptured uh, 86, all right, on Friday. So uh, come Monday, 86 and 85 zone must hold that support. Uh, to keep more upside in play the next critical resistance at 87 if 87 clears I would look for calls targeting 89.5 with 92.4 above above 89.5 I'll probably swing some calls uh, targeting 394 point uh, 392.4 uh, What else I got 96 uh, 98.6 and a couple of 99.7 101.5 and of course, a critical support, uh, resistant around 105. All right, so above, that's when I was swing calls, okay, above 89.5. But overall, 86 must hold that support. Uh, 86 to 85 zone must hold. Below that, if it fails, look for puts with 83.5, uh, 79.6, and 78 below. All right, guys, you guys got my levels for my, stank, my fang stocks. I'm over here messing up, but um, yeah, I hope you guys. Found some value in that, and thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.